How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Minecraft. In the last episode, you watched me attempt to find a swamp. Find a, um... You, you watched me attempt to find a swamp, which I then instead found a, uh... What's it called? A, uh, a woodland mansion. I then proceeded to die in. On my way back, the stream ended. I tried locking my bitrate, and so instead of setting it on automatic, I just put it a few notches down, in hopes that that might help. But honestly, I don't really know exactly how to fix this issue. I've had my streams do a lot of crashing lately. I thought it was only really happening towards the end of the day, but it seems to really happen at any point. It, I've had it happen on streams that have gone over an hour, and I've had it happen on streams that have gone eight minutes. Hi there, uh... Is it an L? That is no Clouds, but with an underscore after the U. How's it going? So, the stream very well could crash once again. We shall see if it will actually manage to make it all the way through. We're going to continue trying anyway. I apologize for any wind noise. It is 80 degrees in my room and I have to point a fan at me so I don't die. Because it is exceptionally hot in here. We're going to try and look back for that woodland mansion though real quick so we can uh, hopefully get all my stuff back. I don't actually know if that will work, but we're going to hopefully get all my stuff back that I lost in that woodland mansion. At about 3,700 blocks uh, in, that in that direction. See, I've got some basic tools at my disposal and some basic stuff. Um, should I need it? But I just kind of wanted to be able to get back to the, uh, the Woodland Mansion. So, I'm going to try and fiddle with some settings just to make it as to where uh, my stream is less likely to crash. Um, because I've only been doing it recently. There's been no real changes in the internet. The internet usage. We didn't get new internet. We got a new cable box. So that's about it. Uh, neither has, like, bandwidth usage or anything really changed. So, really, all that's changed is just the fact, because also, yeah, what I was going to mention earlier is that, like, the stream won't, like, there won't be any distinct lagging or any lag spikes or, uh, even, like, my chat. Like, if I'm in a party with friends, that won't lag either. So, it seems to be relatively kind of random. And it seems to only really affect the stream, so I'm not even sure if it's really an internet issue. Now, I can tell it's going to happen because I'll see my stream overlay go offline, or my stream replay, rather, go offline in Stream Manager on my Twitch dashboard. So I can see it coming, but which is how I was able to end that last video so uh, regularly. Sometimes I just don't catch it in time, though. So we'll see if this stream actually manages to make it a decent amount of time. But it's really been impacting a lot of my streams lately. I streamed a pod an episode of the podcast the other day uh, with Ohio, which should be going up at some point. But that, uh, Jesus, that didn't go too well because um, my stream crashed about, I don't know, 8 to 20 minutes in. I don't actually remember, but it crashed pretty early in and it ended up being a terrible podcast episode anyway, but I still wanted it to be on my channel. So, that's kind of annoying. I'll probably upload what's left of it and then just say, Hey, stream crashed. Uh, go watch it here. I still had to upload it on my channel for consistency's sake. But, uh... We'll see. Anyway, here's to hoping that this stream goes relatively well. So I can just carry on. Less than a thousand blocks to go. I'm about to get Phil's and I don't like it. Ooh. 
Okay, this is a different. What the hell? went very poorly. Do we have anything worth a damn in here? Well, maybe we do, maybe we don't. Hear that? Where is it? There it is. Okay, well my shield seems to be working now. That was kind of the cause of death in the last episode, and I suspect that it could have been because of a, a shield with low durability, perhaps? I'm not sure. That might be a new feature where they've made low durability shields um, start to work less frequently. I don't know. I mean, it seems like a really bad idea, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it won't happen. It just means it's a bad idea. That's the thing with saying something is a bad idea. It never means that it wouldn't be added. It just means it, wouldn't, it doesn't make sense that it was added. We're in a Mega Titan now, that's nice. This might have been on the list of potential relocations, is it? it? Are these general coordinates on the list? Potential relocation 2, 1345, 13, 3150. No, but not too far from it, so it is more than likely this. Upon further consideration. It is more than likely in this general area. And I very well might. I do quite like Mega Tigers. As those of you who watch my other series know, because I, I... Or not my other series, I should say, but, uh... The... Uh... Creative world. For those of you who have spectated the creative world, you know that I'm a big fan of Mega Tigers, so. Is that another ruin portal? Or is that just. That's just a lava lake. Okay. It's like, dang. Two ruin portals? I think this is only at like 300, too, so we actually have to go quite a decent ways to my south as well. Yeah, we dropped a lot of important loot. This appears to be one of the new songs. And it's new, but it still seems very inherently Minecraft, so... It works. So let's talk about that, I guess. Let's talk about some of the elements of the new update, because I know a lot about it. I, I, I know most of it. Hmm. Anyway. So we'll start, I guess, with the new music, and this is less of a criticism on the new music itself, and more about just music added to Minecraft in general. So, the Minecraft soundtrack, the original Minecraft soundtrack, is one of the best in all of gaming. The songs are extremely iconic, and are very, very effective at putting a feeling in the person who is listening. Uh, it also just generally invokes it. Oh, ouch. It's also just generally very good at invoking a very large feeling of nostalgia. Something this game in general is pretty good at doing, even though it persists very well. But there are still a lot of times where you just see some particular thing and you just go, wow. I haven't seen that since 2011, you know what I mean? God damn it. Well, we're in a, a roofed forest, which is a good sign. I don't have any blocks. There it is. We found it. I mean, a lot of the time the Minecraft music can be somewhat overbearing, but ultimately it's... I mean, even this song, like this song... Even though it doesn't have that nostalgic feeling due to it being new, it's not exactly necessarily a problem. It's a good song, it's a half decent song. Anything has the potential to become nostalgic, you know, 
Well, there's Mr. Haunts. Let's see if my shit's still here, though. This guy immediately sent it after me the instant I got here. Jesus, fuck. Cut it out. Oh! Yeah, the house is at 1445, and we have another... Oh, Lord. I had already passed the house by the time the last stream ended. And we're just starting over again. What difficulty is this on? It's on easy, right? Yes, it is. This is on easy. I am this bad at Minecraft on easy mode. Which really tells you all you need to know about me, honestly. Well, bone. I shall use this as my one method of defense. We've got a long way to go. And probably a pretty short time to get there, too. But, uh, yeah. I am pretty upset about my streams ending lately. But, oh yeah, let's get back to, uh, Minecraft. A new update. So they added mud. One of the things I was curious to see exactly how it worked was with the new, uh... I was gonna see how mud exactly worked, because it didn't seem to, like, slow you down or gunk you up any, like I had expected. Ow, 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 ow. These will have to do for now. So... Alright. So they added in a new block. So they added in mud and some forms of mud. I'm not sure exactly what they do yet, but you can turn it into mud bricks. And I guess it, it works to kind of implement like the mud hut style. So that might be good for building, but I'm not sure if it really has any sort of survival implications, both in the sense of just not really doing a whole lot, both in the sense of like not really providing you with anything, but also not, um, being any sort of nuisance. It doesn't seem to be anything like, uh, packed, or like, a uh, the way they changed snow. You know, it seems to be just kind of its own thing that doesn't really do a whole lot other than more than likely just kind of make, uh, swamps a little bit more, like, visually interesting. So we shall see, of course, what exactly mud entails. That was kind of why I wanted to find a uh, a swamp in the first place, was to get some new... was to check out the mud, but it seems that will not be happening soon. Uh, they added a new form of... They added a new tree, more than likely a new form of wood as well. It's been a long time since we've seen that, so that's... Well, not necessarily a long time. We've seen some added in the Nether update, but in terms of, like, overworld traditional woods, this is the first presumable new appearance of it, which I guess is neat. I don't actually remember what the tree is, but hey. It could be interesting. Maybe once I get all my stuff back and return home, I might start up a creative world real quick. Not, yeah, and uh, check out the new update, see what it's got to offer. Like I normally do when a new update comes out. Um, I mean, it's kind of interesting to think. So, this channel has been around for about a year. Uh, when this channel came out, I believe Buzzy Bees was the most recent update. No, the most recent update was the Nether update, I think, when I started this channel. And then, a couple weeks in, they released the first half of the Nether update. Then, a couple months later, uh, when this series started, back in, I believe, November, they released the second half. So, I think the first half was in June, the second half was in, uh, November. 
And then now you can see they've already added a new update. They added some stuff that it was kind of unannounced in my head. I didn't really hear about it like I heard about with a lot of other updates. It seemed relatively sudden. I think the bone should do a little bit more damage. I think it is fair. I mean, I feel like a bone, in theory, should do at least like the damage of a wooden sword. I think that would be a good feature. Don't you think? I certainly think so. Anyway, goodbye. I would say no witnesses, but you'll take too much effort to kill with this bone. So, I mean, this is the third update that's come out since the start of this channel. Uh, and this one will go similar to the... And actually, very. this one went very similarly to the way that the last one went. So I started... Started a series, and then a few episodes in, a new update came out. Then later, I would end the series because a new major renovational update came out. Then, a few weeks in, I would uh, a new update would come out. You know, so I'm curious to see what will happen next. Probably. Not much of note, to be honest. Okay, we made it back to this village here. Seems to be like our first, uh... Notable... Thing. And frogs, which, I mean, apparently you can make, like, frog light. And there's this frog spawn block that you can place, but you can't stand on, and it's like a lily pad, basically. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that does. I don't really know the purpose of a lot of the new blocks yet, but... We shall see. So yeah, I think I'm just going to get my stuff back and then try my damnedest to wander back home. Now I'm gonna be in pretty serious shit if I, uh, if my stuff despawns. I don't know, there were some items lying around when I came back this way, so it is actually entirely possible that I will encounter these items again, because I, th I think it is only when you're in that chunk range. So after three minutes of being in range of it as to where the terrain under it has loaded, because, I mean, it wouldn't make sense for it to despawn when it... the chunk it's on doesn't even exist. It, it doesn't even know it's in the game at the moment. Which has now got me thinking about, like, how this game works, like, code-wise, and it started tripping me up. Not even gonna bother for those right now. I'm... Trying to be a little bit quicker here. That also means that it could be kind of tactically adva advantageous to have a smaller chunk limit because it means that you can... means that things are less likely to despawn and such. Which could come in handy. Damn it. Ow. Okay, fuck it. We are going... Around. Oh, well, I was gonna try and go around. I'm not sure how that's gonna go anymore, though. I go around the other way. What's that? Oh, it's just mountain. Oh, holy shit! That is actually really cool, though. It comes to a nice, like, peak, too. That's not legit. We're making it back to the taiga. We're less than a thousand blocks away at this point. Less than uh, approximately 700 at this point. So, frogs... We're added. I'm not exactly sure what they do. I don't know if they drop any food or...
Because this one seems to be obviously less focused than Buzzy Bees, because Buzzy Bees was distinctly revolved around bees, so they added bees and a bunch of functionality around bees. You know, they added bees, beehives, honey, uh, the campfire. The campfires were in the game, but they added, like, you know, a use for campfires. Like, they definitely, you know, wanted it to center all around that. It introduced a lot of new features, but this one just seems to add in a couple of mobs. I'm not exactly sure what features come along with said mobs, if any. I'm not sure if it really works the same way that uh, Buzzy Bees has. Of course, I will look it up here in a bit. But it seems like it just adds in a couple of new blocks. It ends in the Warden, which is very interesting for people who can actually do combat in this game. But as you can see, I still haven't made it past Woodland Mansions. So... Clearly, I am not ready for the Warden. Clearly, I'm not worthy of facing the Warden's wrath. Ooh, okay. Ooh, it's starting to get dark, though, which I'm not really liking for purpose of what is going on right now. I should have slept in that village. That would have actually saved me a decent amount of time. But we're getting to the roof forest, so we're getting pretty close at this point. Mm, hello. I'm going to need you to not look in my direction, sir. Bruh. Okay. We are getting there. But getting dark is not exactly what I wanted to happen. Oh! So I'm thinking about... I'm not sure what I'm thinking, honestly. Yeah, I'm just ready to find this shit so I can look into the new update. I got in way over my head. It's been two episodes now of just trying to figure out the new update. On accident, this video would have been like almost an hour by now if it weren't for the fact the game broke. It's already 4 o'clock too, god damn. I'm just wasting all sorts of time today. Actually, I'm not really. I went out, got groceries, got ammunition, and have put in two live streams. Even though I'd like to initially say that I wasted my time because I only got one live stream, uh, or because I got technically one one live stream's worth of content. Wow, well, neither of them blew up, which is kind of inconvenient. I wanted that to happen, but it didn't. Okay, I'm gonna get my items, get on my horse, and gun it. Alright, this is this is the moment of truth. All my stuff is here. First of all, where is this? Here we go. We're ready. Not quite. Nope, still not quite. The item did not place. Now we're ready. Ran out of room. What can we get rid of? Actually, I don't have a bow yet. Ah, uh, that. Cool. Some emeralds. I do need... Hi there, sir. Please ignore me temporarily. I can get rid of this for now. Oh, wait. Put on the iron. That saves me a bunch of inventory space. The iron. The armor. Saves me multiple spots. In my inventory. Alright, now let's get the hell out of Dodge. I need a spot for, uh... This. I guess I need a spot for uh, defense post too. Which one's worse? Protection? Duh. It's not going to work. I need my axe in hand. There it is. 
I'll reconfigure my inventory when I have a second. Now is not the time. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I will revisit here for my revenge. Now is not the time. Let us return home. Even though I can't see a damn thing right now. That's not working, that's not working. There's an Enderman there. Ah. Nice. This is absolutely not working the way I wanted it to. It's actually incredibly hard to maneuver through roofed forests. That was a waste. There we go. A break. Go! Go! Get out of there! Jiminy crickets, goddamn. Yep. Alright, go. On top now. Now we just need to get the hell out of here. Realistically, we should be going this way. Uh, there's the lead. Nope, nope, there's the lead. I'll replace the bone with the lead. Because I know I'm going to have to use it. Alright, go, 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 go. Girl, girl, girl. Alright, come on. Get in. Get on, I mean. Alright, let's go. I gotta always just click unassigned to dismount like it doesn't like it isn't assigned. Hey, hey. Christ. Alright, we're in the the Mega Taiga, this is good. Okay, so essentially I think what I'm going to do here, once I get back, is I'm just going to leave the world and uh, start a creative world that I can check out the new uh, features in. I'm going to try and get like a a uh, uh, seed that will put me directly on a uh, a thing. So, if that doesn't work, then I'll just have to kind of look for one in creative. Which will take substantially less time. Uh, then maybe I'll dig down deep to see if I can find a warden. Check out what that man has to offer. And then I shall go ahead and um is there anything else to do? No, that's pretty much it to my knowledge. And I'll just kind of review the patch notes on Minecraft's website to make sure I didn't forget anything. Oh, here's that village. Okay, note to future self, going into that fucking... 
uh, what was it called? Going into that place was a mistake that I should not have done. my guy doing here like brother okay we are getting there we're definitely getting there all right after like a solid 40 minutes we have nearly returned home with all of my stuff. I'm glad that my items stayed. Because especially like my secondary items definitely might not have. And that would be a crushing blow to the series if I lost my items. But, we're alright. We are all right. Where is, where is my house? from this angle. I don't really come at it from this side very often. I don't really know where I'm going. There it is. There she is. That's what I'm looking for. jump I must say Playing from Galaxy A, so Bruh, I got a notification of it hey I'm here remember me yeah no I do all right we're also gonna store all the fucking items we just come across all right horsey you need to stay there. If anybody's in chat, go ahead and try and provide me a name for this horse, and I'll assess that name choice, and I might just consider using it. Otherwise, for the most part, I'm just gonna probably I'm gonna tr try and name it something that isn't Rebel. So let's go ahead and store all the bullshit we've picked up. We got some tools and armor and some food. I don't know if we got any food, actually. Well, I got this bread. So I guess that'll work. Alright, uh, important, uh, some valuables. We got some emeralds, golden apple, some paper, some, uh, uh, uh sugar cane. Oh, this is the garbage. Sorry, the gold looked enticing. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, emerald, sugar cane, paper, golden apple, leather. Uh, I might as well make the sugar cane and the leather, or in the the sugar cane and the iron nuggets into actual iron and actual paper. Iron. Paper. Cool. I think that's pretty much all the paper I need for the most part. I think leather is going to be a bigger issue. I actually have a lot more obsidian than I thought I did. I might not even actually need obsidian from that other portal. Well, I, I will, but... Not as much as I thought I did, I suppose. Blocks. Actually, didn't have any cornflowers, but I had some orange tulips already. Cartography table. Oh, we can add these berries into this chest. Wish there already are some, go figure. Um... Ok, 
Okay, let's go ahead and load this new map here. Okay, the map unfortunately has to be the one we were just at, and that's not even a locator map, so that's just going to go in the junk drawer for now. I didn't even notice I had two swords. Oh, uh, water bucket. Boom, boom, boom. Some beef. Some of that. Sweet. So, that is going to do it for this world. My Microsoft account was disconnected. Okay, so clearly at some point my internet did in fact crash. For some reason also my Chromebook's device space is always critically low, which is unfortunate because uh, I have no external stuff on here at all, pretty much. Alright, so let's make a new world. Uh, are there any, like... Oh, God! Whoa, this is different. Templates. Let's see if any of these templates are just... Swamp. In theory, they might be. Ah, so this might not even be a new thing. It's just its own form of swamp, perhaps? Taiga Village? Winding River? Desert Village? Abandoned Village? Coastal Village? Ocean Monument Head? Mesa Plateau? So far, they had Taiga Bay. Ah, oh, they have a survival island. That's actually really cool. A close strong, stronghold. Epic Jungle. Taiga Bay actually would have been a very good one for my creative world but I'm already a little bit too far ahead there so I, there's really no because honestly like one of the a lot of times people will create something new because they feel they can do better I do not anyway yeah mangrove swamp uh, I'll go ahead and turn on show coordinates I just like to do that I have simulation distance tan chunks Sheets, yes. Can't earn achievements, that's fine. I do actually kind of like this new menu. It, it feels a little bit disconnected to an extent, but it does look pretty nice, actually. So let's go ahead and take a look at this new swamp. Oh yeah, there's also boats with chests. Just chilling. Remember when this was the big vote for the, the next update? And it didn't become the next update, but then it actually did. Sorry. <sighs> okay, I forgot to make it survival. But that's okay. No big deal. Nope. Wrong one. Creative. Oh, so here's some mud. Right, yeah. There's some mud. It sounds interesting, but doesn't really do anything. We also have some roots. So this seems a lot to me like uh, like a bayou. Like they're kind of going for like a Louisiana type vibe here. Like Florida. Kind of southern U.S. swamps. I suppose. It's this muddy mangrove roots. So, mangrove leaves. So yes, mangrove appears to be a new one. Mangrove planks. Ooh. Okay, so they're a little reddish purplish. If we compare it to like acacia and spruce, you can see it's a little bit dimmer than that, but it's still a distinct... Actually, it looks a lot more like crimson than anything else. Ooh, that's kind of weird. 
I feel like this block could be used with high effectivity as a... Like a bloodied floor. I feel like if you could use this very well to re replicate like a bloody floor. But yeah, it does just kind of look like a muted crimson. I can't see myself really using this too much. Might use it a time or two just for the sake of like... Individuality, I guess. But I don't really see myself using it too often. What's the mangrove log look like? Is this it? Very similar to jungle. Actually, yeah, overall it is pretty similar to jungle wood. Also interesting that they have all this, but yet no. Maybe not as similar as I thought it was. Because jungle wood looks pretty, like, tame compared to this. And actually, I'm not familiar with the mangrove tree, so let's go ahead and look it up. Mangrove. Salt-tolerant trees, also called halophytes, and are adapted to live in harsh coastal conditions. I just kind of want to look at like a cross-section or something. If we take a look at these trees, uh, it's kind of hard to find bits of it that aren't roots. But yeah, you can definitely see that it was going for like a... a bayou-type appearance. It's actually a shrub. Oh, it's a shrub or tree. They occur worldwide, so they're not really limited to just what I was talking about here. Whoa. I can't really see what I'm looking at right now, but just go to Wikipedia and you'll find everything I'm looking at. I don't really care about. Yeah, very common here along the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, it's, it's extremely coastal with extreme... Uh, with it being extremely common in kind of the, the oceanic islands, it appears. Okay. So yeah, this is basically just a new swamp. So I guess the original swamp still exists. Let's get these things. Why right, mangrove pop... Propagule. Mangrove Propagule. They're also very tall trees. Yeah, let's look at this coastally. Right here, this is a good... These trees are fucking massive. I'm not exactly sure why. Also, you can't really see the... Oh, here, so here's where it starts. Can these roots be used for anything? I'm not sure. It's a curious new block, I must say. Hmm. Okay. So... Yeah, it just appears to be kind of a basic... This is more accurate to a swamp, I will say, like, even though it looks pretty weird looking. I mean, this is what a swamp looks like. It's muddy, and the grass being here doesn't really make sense, but yeah, it's, it's muddy, and this looks very much like something from, like, what was it, the Twilight Zone? Not the show, but, like, the, the Minecraft mod. Or some sort of the Twilight something or other. It looks a lot like that. And there's some, looks like there's some grass mixed in. Got some kind of mud outcroppings here. That's kind of interesting. I would have expected mud to have slowed you down, but it doesn't really seem to do that for some reason. It is kind of curious. So, oh yeah, and here it is right next to an original swamp. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more... potent, shall we say. Swamp also always, the swamp's also always just used, like, oak, even. so it's it's nice for the swamps to finally get a different biome. Also, the water is different, which is not what I would have expected, but that's alright. 
Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at something else here. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and delete that. I really it doesn't really need to exist anymore. Oh, but this stays. Curious. Just the delete options all the way down here. And then let's create another one. We're gonna go underground uh, templates go ahead and take a look at that deep dark uh, and see if we can find ourselves a, a warden kinda investigate there spawn me in a mesa. But I'm gonna assume that if I just dig it straight down exactly like you were not supposed to. In theory I should encounter this deep dark thing you're speaking of. Oh I've made it. I can't see a damn thing. First and foremost, I cannot see a thing. I don't really know what I expected. And neither can y'all. So, one second thought, actually. I'm just going to go ahead and return to the surface. So, this cave update has been interesting. I feel like on one hand it is really cool that they've been able to just develop a cave into a whole new concept because yeah I mean like I've gone through four layers of cave by just going straight down which is pretty cool I will criticize it however just for being too too I guess kind of complicated it it's really stop saying that every time my likes is connected to my phone so whenever i get a notification it's like hey remember me and i'm like i wish i didn't anyway uh it seems that this new like the cave update is great in a lot of senses because like it i mean like having this just be a thing is really cool i have a big issue with it though because it makes mining a whole lot more convoluted and makes it tougher and I'm already pretty bad at it in the first place. Uh, I haven't really done a whole lot of mining in the new form of cave. So I'm not too terribly familiar with it at this point. Which could be greatly to my detriment. That looks really fun and cool though. I should point out. So I don't really know exactly what to say about that, but overall, I'm kind of, I, I'm sure the warden. Uh, not I'm sure, but the warden will probably come into play in the my in the survival series at some point, and you guys will get to see that. If not, I will kind of try and seek it out. But overall, I suppose I should say that I'm somewhat underwhelmed with the swamps. Didn't see any animals either. I didn't see any of the frogs. Let me take a look at. Some other things that were recently added. I don't see anything new here. Actually, let's go to all. So obviously we had the new mangrove, which could could be interesting, I suppose. I guess we'll see kind of how that works, but... We have the door. What's the door look like? I feel like this is just kind of an ultimate, like, 
the progression of what this was ultimately supposed to look like. Anyway, those are mud bricks. I'm not sure what the point of mud bricks are, but they do exist. So, I don't know if these grow into anything. Maybe they grow mangroves. Yeah, because they don't actually have a sapling, and they're right next to the sapling, so I assume that that's what that does. If I Can I plant one of those? I didn't mean to do that. Can I plant one of those and then get some bone meal? Will that do anything? We'll find out. There are some new mobs. There's also, like I said, these frog lights. I, don't know, I think they're just, like, different colors for lights, in case that was something that you were really interested in. If that was something you want. But they definitely look a little more organic. And some of the other ones. We had three new mobs. Alright. Oh, uh, where the fuck are they? Here they are. The warden, alley, and the frog, and the tadpole. I guess all of those are new. They had a goat horns. They just kind of make a sound. Some of them similar to the ones you hear during a raid. So, a little bit of reused assets. The recovery compass, I have to look up what that does. And a new sign, of course. So it seems to just be kind of a more reddish brown. So it's kind of... It appears to be kind of like if you combined a little bit of jungle and acacia with some spruce. So you kind of combine jungle and acacia for the color value, and then darken it. That's what I imagine it would look like. And then a uh, boat chest. In case that's something that really matters to you. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look here. So we got the mangrove, probably, which you can place on the ground, which means I assume that if I wanted to right here... Oh, there's an echo shard. There's also a, uh, like, shattered music disc yeah music disc fragment music disc 5 well, I'm gonna look up what that does here in just a minute but I figured I, it's worth pointing out a bucket of tadpole is also a thing so yeah just place a bucket and it contains a tadpole that's the tadpole by the way it's just a little little guy not really much to say about it, to be honest. It's just a thing that exists. Also, notice how the tadpole bucket is a different shade of water. I suspect that is intentional. So where the fuck is bone meal again? Here it is. So yeah, if I place a mangrove propagule, prop, if I place a, a mangrove propagule, holy shit, that is incredibly hard to say. Yes, it will grow into a mangrove tree, which also, these things are tall as hell. I mean, it makes sense, because in order to get these vines, which, I mean, it doesn't quite look like this, but... Sure, in order to get those little roots and stuff, you would have to make it a very tall tree. But yeah, it is like a substantially taller tree than anything else. So, here's the warden. That is so incredibly loud. Holy shit. That is crazy. That is absolutely terrifying. How long does it take to beat down? God. Oh, he mad. Oh, he real mad. I'm not sure if this thing actually dies. Oh my god. Oh, there we go. No, it does die. 
But it takes an incredible... I'm pretty sure it takes less time to kill the fucking wither. Lordy. Here's an alley. I like a fairy looking thing. I don't really know what it does. I think they like look for blocks or something. I'll look it up. And then frog. They only come in one color variety. Yeah, they just kind of hop around. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit. Man's gotten a hop and it never ended. Did they drop anything? No. It wouldn't appear that they do. Their animation's kind of neat. Jump. I dare you. I double dog dare you to jump. That's pretty funny. Okay, so, yeah, that's that. Recovery compass uh, is constantly moving. And it actually doesn't vary based on movement either, so I'm not exactly sure what that does. So let's go ahead and open this Minecraft wiki here. Let's see what this does. And I want to be kind of quick with this before... Uh, before it goes away. Okay. China edition? There's a China edition? Not aware of that. Fenwick edition 1.190. Let's take a look here at what we, what has been added and what everything is supposed to do. There's also this frog spawn. Which, yeah, only places on water. I'm not exactly sure what it does. You can't stand on it, though. I don't know what it does yet. Didn't see it at the swamp. Alright, let's look here. Oh. Well, this is not... Oh. We want 1.19.0. Oh, we don't want 1.19.10. I want the update. The primary update. I want the title update, not just the bug fix update. Oh, apparently it did add traitor, uh, traitor uh, thingy. Frog light. Drop by small magma cubes when they are eaten by frogs. Has three variants. Which variant is dropped depends on the frog variant that eats the magma cube. Okay, so there's a warm frog, a cold frog, and a temperate frog. We're seeing the warm frogs, so they were white, but there's a green and an orange frog, depending on the thing. Frog spawn. Non-solid blocks can be placed on the surface of water. Disappears when water under the frog spawn is gone. Can't be obtained in survival. Does not drop when breaking, even with silk touch. It is laid by frogs after mating when they are bred with slime balls. Hatches tadpoles after some time. Okay. Mangrove leaves. Mangrove log. Mangrove pranks. Mangrove pop propagule. New type of sapling which grows into a mangrove tree. Has four stages to fully grown. Can be excited with bone meal. That's actually very cool. Can break off a fully grown one planted into a mangrove tree. Can be planted both on land and underwater. Can be placed in flower plots. Bees can pollinate them and bees follow players holding them and can be bred with them. Mangrove roots. A see-through decorative block just like leaves but can be waterlogged. Water currently doesn't spread outwards like with other waterlogged blocks. Mining faster when using axes. Unlike leaves, it does not break when moved by a piston. 